How's that feel? Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Sweet. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Classic Firearms YouTube channel. I am Clint, and we've got Katie with us. Say hey, Katie. Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> and we are excited to be at SHOT Show 2022, Industry Day at the range for our, I guess you can say technically, it's not really day one, but we're going to be bringing you all of our close as possible to live coverage of SHOT Show. So stay tuned. And I've been hearing a mini gun, so let's go check that out. Welcome everybody, we are over here with Christensen Arms now. We've got Jeff. Jeff, thanks for taking the time with us. Glad to see you guys at SHOT Show 2022. Yeah, glad it's happening, man. You've got a pretty awesome looking rifle here uh, with us. Can you go ahead and talk a little bit about it? Sure. And this is a big year for us at SHOT because we're going to reveal an improved composite technology. This is our traditional composite technology. That's going to be improved upon this year and we're going to introduce a more chopped look. The new technology has more of a chopped fiber look to it. If you look on there, you can tell that it's not just strands of carbon fiber. This is going to be lighter, and it's going to be just as strong and help, help elevate our firearms lighter and more accurate. So we're looking forward to it. That's awesome. Yeah, well, first of all, it's beautiful. And secondly, I hope you don't mind if I uh, pull the trigger on a couple of we these. We would expect you to, absolutely. Perfect, let's do it. Now we're over here at Stag Arms, which you guys should definitely uh, recognize quite a bit of. And we've got Auburn, who's been on the channel with us before, so thanks Auburn for uh, letting us come out. And you've got something here that's uh, pretty sweet. You want to talk a little bit about it? Absolutely. So we have our new, what we call the Covenant in 6mm arc in our Stag 15 series. Uh, we have this set up in the 16 inch, 18 inch, 20 inch. The 16 inch and the 20 inch are set up in our PRS stocks. You have your Mo fix stock on the 16 inch. Everything comes in with these awesome uh, stainless speed blasted barrels. So super lightweight setups. So if you haven't shot a 6mm arc, they are amazing. Uh, these do have the phosphate coated uh, two stage trigger. In them, super glory shoe. We've taken them out hunting. You know, it's your in betweener between your 556 and your 308. Uh, they are freaking awesome setups for some long range things. We're just hitting some thousand yard targets, so you know, it's always fun when you can feel good shooting a rifle hitting thousand yards consistently. Um, but no, the, these things are awesome. The, the dopes on the 6 mm are really close to the kind of the glossy stuff from the 6.5. Uh, yeah, I think something you need to test out and see for yourselves how you feel about it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that right now. You said you are hitting out to a thousand with it. We are hitting a thousand. Yeah. So with the with the twenty for sure, um, it's fun. Just the Maven scopes that we have on on the, the other two. Yeah, it's pretty easy for us to do. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm gonna try that real quick. Might as well. All right, so did you see it? I didn't see that one. Okay, you, you landed. It was a little bit short, but your windage is perfect. Awesome. So just hold just over the top uh, with that 30 uh, tick mark. All right. Okay, so you hit. Did you see that one? Yep, I saw it. I see it swinging there. That's impact. Dude, that feels awesome. So I haven't shot a 6mm arc before, and that feels great. And, Albert, you got one other thing you'd like to talk about? Two other things. Okay. Quick. A lot of you guys yeah. know about our Stack 15 Tactical. You know, it's a good basic kind of setup. So, what we did this year, we made some upgrades to it. We decided to release what we call the Tactical Elite. So, still in your 16 inch, the only difference is it's got a 223 wild barrel. Um, doesn't really come in the stainless steel. So be in a nitrite when we originally launch them out. Something that everybody's been waiting for on when you get the lefty kind of stuff going on. We introduced the new bolt catch release, so you're going to have a true AMBI setup. You're also going to have the AMBI safety selector, which is you know, coming uh, in different adjustments from, I believe, your 45 and your 60, so you can set up kind of how you want, you know, 
set up your safety selector, but I know some of the lefties out there really want this uh, bolt catch release to be a, just really more adjustable on each side. But the tactical is going to have the hyper touch by hyper fire, so it's a single stage trigger uh, with a little bit more on BCG, so something that's a little bit more high performance overall in the Elite series. Awesome. Something really cool everyone knows about our three gun Elite. So the three gun Elite is an 18 inch barrel, but we introduced kind of a basic model. So you're going to have your three gun, so instead of the 18 inch, you're going to have the 16 inch barrel, so a little bit shorter. Same thing, it's got the 223 wild barrel in there, so I mean, if you feel this sucker, I mean, you feel our tactical as well. They're super light, like, feel tactical. Uh, but the three gun is going to have the hyper fire uh, competition trigger, so as you can see, it's got this awesome pad on there for the guys who are the competition. Really set up for a basic three gun model, but I mean, this thing's not basic, it is pretty sweet. And that same thing, it's got the uh, adjustment to be safety selector, so. Uh, we pumped on our upgrades this year. I think we really, you know, knocked it out of something that people were going to really want out of the box. You guys the out of the box stuff with us. I, I'd say it's still in the middle class stuff, but a lot easier for people to have, you know, more adjustability. So, yeah, pretty pumped, man, for our stuff to come out finally in uh, a few months for, I think, the production runs of them. But they're here today. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. First of all, the Ambi, so that is a true bolt release and bolt catch. True. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. It's awesome, man. Well, sweet, dude. I'll show that off here in a second. But Auburn, man, thank you again. Dude, thank you guys. Like That's always. We got it. Now we're over here with Pioneer Arms. You guys know them with all their cool AKs and stuff. And earlier, well, I should say earlier this year, right? Last year, later last year, I ran the Red October event uh, with their new Forge Trunnions thing and had a great time with that. That was a lot of fun with Red October. Uh, but now you guys have a 556 AK, right? Yep. Yeah, so this is our 556 AK. Also featuring four trunnions, same as our ones from the Red October. Right. Um, we haven't actually put this out on the market yet, but we've done a lot of R&D on it. Shoots amazingly. Yeah. Both ones shoot it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this is one feature all of our wood furniture as well. So it comes in our standard like Balmer furniture, if not wood as well. It's awesome. Uh, great gun to shoot. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I'm absolutely gonna pull the trigger on it. If you guys have a 556 AK, I know it sounds kind of like glass. It's actually really, really a lot of fun. And maybe we'll still have Russian ammo eventually. I don't know. I've got plenty. That's all I've got. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. Come here, shoot one of the close to Now we're over here with Utah Precision with something pretty unique. Jason, thanks for taking the time, man. And uh, I like what I'm seeing. I'm going to let you talk about it. So what do we have here? Sure. So what we do is a true bolt action AR with a three-lug bolt. This is three throw uh, that you can also put on your semi-automatic lower. So you can run semi-automatic and bolt action precision on one lower. This year we're introducing our pistol length uppers. So this is a 13-inch uh, Creedmoor uh, with a long tactical fully stock adapter, an SBA3 brace on it, the new RMT pivoting trigger. I don't know if you guys like that. But a uh, nice little package, handy in the brush, and a little nice little hunting gun. So real light, real handy, um, and sub MOA accuracy with factory ammo. So, so this 13-inch uh, Creedmoor we're taking out to 960 today. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. So, I, it's, so it's kind of cool if I go shoot it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, let's do it. I wanted to go with the big caliber. 
that's that's really cool, man. That is really cool, and that bolt is smooth too. That feels great. Yeah, that is awesome. So the, the fact that you guys integrated, you know, the AR controls, I just think is really neat too. That's awesome. Yeah, it's an AR control. That is an AR lower. So you can go down here, you go to the Aero Precision booth, grab there at 308, and drop, drop right on there. Yeah, that's fantastic, man. Hey, thanks for taking the time. You guys check out Game Top Precision. Now we're over here with Lewis Machine and Tool, and we've got Joe that's going to be showing off some pretty cool stuff. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, that's a problem. Man. Absolutely. So, what is it that you guys got going on here today? So, uh, just simple offerings. You know, some new products that we've got out. Basically, just focusing on our monolithic receiver. You know, which is nothing new in the industry. This system's been around for almost 20 years now, and uh, but it's really catching on with the modularity. People who want to, you know, update their firearms but don't want to spend a ton of extra money to buy a new. Right, yeah, I get that. And so a lot of people ask too if it's a modular upper receiver, how am I supposed to remove my barrel? Alright, so the best thing we you can do, loosen your rear screw, remove that front one completely. What that'll allow you to do is pull the whole system out. And you can switch between three and a blackout, five, five, six, six, eight, and PC. But you can also change options. So you can go from a piston to a D op. Yeah, so, yeah it, uh, so one upper receiver really can do it all. Um, and then when you put it back together, all you gotta do is drop your screw in, torque it down to 140 inch pounds, and you're good to go. Dude, that's, that's pretty freaking awesome. Right, right. <laughs> that, is, that is very cool. And we've also got a couple others you know, lined up here. Do you mind talking a little bit about those? Yeah, absolutely. So, we'll start over here. This is uh, the hot one on the commercial market right now. Uh, this is a spec war upper receiver. So developed for a special warfare unit. Right. Um, that's kind of weird. it's its name, obviously. It's been in service for a couple years now, uh, but we released it to the commercial market last year. So it is a blend between our MRP length and our CQB length. Uh, it's just kind of a mid length, but this one's running a 12.5 uh, mid, mid gas barrel. Also, so very smooth shooting, yeah, very good manner suppressed, um, but it makes for a really good general purpose part. And that's the trend now, right now, is to have that do it all good. Yeah. You know, right. and that's what this one does so that's what we got out here to shoot um, 300 blackout and our standard quad MRP so you could change from a 556 to that 300 blackout like we demonstrated and then this guy right here this is yep MRGGA submission uh, this one's in standard the main gun comes in Mars, so that's a modular ambidextrous rifle system, so fully MB controls. But this is a 14565, developed for their assaulter receiver. So it blends the DMR and the CQB. Uh, so they could really reach out and use it as a support weapon for clear building. So it is set up uh, full auto with a forward assist. So that's that's fantastic. Man. Yeah. All of these look great. And then you've got one little guy over One here. little guy, yep. So this one. This one has had a lot of internet hype around it. Um, back a couple years ago, Army released a tender on the 9 mil. So we put in our submission for the 9 mil, and this is what came out of it. Uh, so we've refined it for a couple years now. This is a piston system 9 mil. Still runs your standard piston, you know, bolt carrier group with a little tappet and a rotating bolt. Full AMB controls, uh, monolithic upper, so you'll see more calibers in the future where you can change that barrel system as well. Uh, but very nice little compact system that runs really well. This one's set up in uh, Glock mags. Yeah. Uh, that's for an international tender. Uh, Gen 2 will come around soon, hopefully, with a uh, double stack mag platform. That's that's awesome, man, because, yeah, everybody's going to ask, does it take Glock mags? <laughs> does it take Glock mags? Yeah. <laughs> Commercial market's going to love it for that. Right. Um, your, di your true diehard 9mm shooters are going to want that double stack mag. So that'll, that's coming shortly. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thank you. And if it's yeah. cool with you, I'd like to pull the trigger on a couple of these. Yeah, pick one up. Oh, that trigger feels great. Like How the film? Sweet. Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that feels awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hey, I, I've shot. I think Katie, you really liked it, didn't you? Oh, heck yeah! Dude, that is a super soft recoiling gun. I it caught me by surprise with how good that actually feels. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, all right. You know what? Maybe one more time. Okay. You know, if it makes me excited, then it's awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that's you.
Yeah, those controls are very ergonomic too. Yeah. You lollipop that dot on top of your steel, you should get it. Yeah, that. So accurate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For those of you that can't tell, I was shooting out the 100 yards on that one. Was that a 10-inch spotter? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Hey, man, thanks again. I guess I'll give that back to you. <laughs> Guys, check out Lewis Machine 2 Tool <laughs> LMT, of course. Now we're over here with a Barrett MRAT, the Revolution Rifle Chamber 653. As cool as this gun is, we're actually going to be talking about the targeting system. We've got Heath, Heath here with Inveris. Hey, thanks for taking the look again, man. Thanks, Yeah, absolutely. And so what all do we have going on today? Thanks. The one we've got rifles to push out all the way. The other one is on the targets out at 500 to 700. And we have a acoustic scoring system. Mike, the front row. We're going to train bullets X, Y axis as it flies over the top of the round, over the top of the target to show you where you hit. So we'll Get all the targets. Right. So we'll, 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 we'll go ahead and we'll put it on. We'll be able to see you instantaneously out to your target. All right, awesome. Let's do it. So we're taking a couple of shots at the 500. Take a look here as we see them pop up on the target. So we'll see your first shot. He's on the right side of him. So you still got a good, good mass shot. So we'll see our first shot and then go ahead and send your second round. That's 500 yards. I was able to get it out here. No problem. I appreciate it. In your second shot, go ahead and rack around, adjust on your hole, and so you can see the as it blinks, that's your most current shot. Right, that's awesome. Now, Milton's already over to that is very cool. So now you were also mentioning too that the Marine Corps is looking at incorporating this type of technology, correct? Correct. correct. So we built this to Quantico. It's gone to Hawaii. Nope. And Our technology so rather than the Marines pulling the targets up and down the butts, now they're actually going to look there on their tablet at the firing line and they're able to move. Instantaneous scoring. No more. Stick your head. See if you've got a crack. See if you heard that shot. Right. Throwing paces in there. And it's how the entire military is going to move to in the future. That's that's pretty awesome. I can tell you guys right now, uh, as a Marine, I am going to love this. Well, I don't pull my own pits anymore anyway, so whatever. Pick up rank, it makes it a lot easier. Now we're hanging out over here at Stacks and Firearms. Of course, you guys are going to know the best for these fantastic barrels that they make. And we've got Pat with me. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thanks for taking the time. Let's talk about this, because you were talking about this system here, which I think is very cool. Well, here you talking Yeah, so the big thing about 8.6 blackout, the easiest way to think of it is three, 300 blackouts, big rough. Yeah. So 300 blackout is designed for an AR-15 size gun, 8.6 is for an AR-10 size gun. Gotcha. So what's unique about it in that you can, other than you can do supersonic rounds just like you would in 300 is that it's a fast twist barrel so traditionally an AR-10 size gun is going to be 1 and 8 to 1 and 10 these are 1 and 3 so you're spinning the bullet significantly faster and what that's doing is less spin drift more energy when it hits the target so you're harnessing some of that energy that would typically go towards flash and sound towards energy on target so, uh, just like the 300 Blackout, the 8.6 is designed around short barrels. So we're doing 8 inch, 12 inch, and 16 inch. This is a gun built on a 12 inch. So, part of this project is we're going to be introducing uh, Remington 700 barrels for it. Nice. So, it's going to be a pre fit top stock barrel, Remage style, but what's a little unique about ours is instead of using a Savage wrench, you're going to be using an AR. 
AR-15 armor is right to put it together. So you know, we, we tend to cater towards the builder market, so we want to make things as easy as possible. So another big part for the builder crowd is that it's a 308 bolt face for the 86 blackout. So just like 300 blackout, all you're doing is swapping your barrel. That's awesome. This is a 12-inch barrel with a Thunder Beast can on it. Um, insanely quiet with 300 grain subsonic bullets. So those are 300 grain Sierra match games. Yeah, awesome, dude. Well, hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to shooting this gun. It's fantastic design. And yes, for all of us that like to actually build our guns. Yeah. Thank you for making it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Less tools you have to buy. Yeah, exactly. Sweet man. Yeah, that's how much. That is awesome. Yeah. That is fantastic. I mean, you're not lying when you get like 300 blackout subsonic type quietness. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, but you're getting the range. Yeah. That, that, you know, that's a big part of it. And so, I do have one other question, though. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what, is, what is that like it's on the H6 cartridge? So, I'll, I don't know for certain if you guys are looking up, oh, up okay. on the numbers. Yeah, yeah, uh, but I know they're, they're expecting um, subsonic terminal performance at a minimum of 450. Gotcha. So I think they're shooting for like 600, but the Supers, Kevin's taken some, I think he shot a big buffalo with the 210 grade Supers. Kevin's been over in Africa with that, pretty much an identical version of that 11 inch fix, and he shot three or four big buffalo with it, and, and they can show you. Uh, yep, it's on fire. That's awesome. We're over here now with Kadex. It sounds like a cool gun. And it's called the Kraken that we've got here with us right now. Chambered at 300 normal, all right? That's correct. Dude, awesome. And so what can you tell us about this one about the company? So this is uh, our multi-cal system crack, which you referred to earlier. It's from KDEX Defense, which is based out of uh, St. Richelieu, Quebec, Canada. Uh, they've been in business for 20 plus years. Got into the firearms industry about 10 years ago. Uh, started off making chassis components, moved into uh, configurations for the full platforms. Everything you see here, with the exception obviously of the optic and the barrel, is made in the factory. So we're using part line barrels, but muzzle brake, chassis, bipods, everything that we make in house. That's awesome. Yep. Great looking gun, that's for sure. Yeah, that's that second one.